Efforts to bring back the controversial disbursement of 500 billion naira loan to six geopolitical zones of Nigeria suffered a setback during Wednesday's plenary. The Senate President Gatsul Akbabio stood down a motion on the matter. Sponsor of the motion and Senate Chief Whip Ali Ndeme had queried the rationale behind the stepping down, noting that the fund was unevenly shared among states. The motion, which borders on the unequal disbursement of the loan, sought amongst other things a thorough investigation into the matter. The president of the Senate, however, told the chief whip that an ad hoc committee headed by Sani Musa had already addressed the issues raised in the motion. As my privilege, up to now, I swear to God, I'm not supposed to even do that. I've not seen the report. I'm a senator. I moved the motion because I have my reason. My people are so changed. This is a serious matter. 500 billion was distributed and the other geopolitical zones got only 11%. My own region got only 1%. It's not a laughing matter. It's not it's a serious matter that needs to be addressed. The chairman of that other committee that sat on this particular motion is here. Yeah. He's Senator Sani Musa. And he informed me just now that he has presented the report and the report has been adopted. And what that simply means is, a question we should ask is, have they forwarded the resolution of this Senate to the executive? If it has been forwarded, then further legislative work to be done is for us to investigate what is the status with that particular resolution as passed by the Senate. And if it has not, that means it's an entirely new motion, new uh, report that needs to be uh, prepared and forwarded to the Senate. When we were deliberating, we included almost every senator from each geopolitical zone. And we have been having that meeting, of which the chief wave have attended that meeting about twice. But the meeting continued. And if you will recall the time we were about to re submit the reports, the chief we I called you, you were in Maiduguri. And when they submitted the signature sheet to me for that report, you signed the report. Like any other, it was the only report I've seen that all the members of that committee signed. So I'm surprised that uh, we have not seen it. But he has signed it. And it's a document. It's a document. You will see it. And it's not, it's not interim document. It is a report, final report. And it has been adopted. It was, it was debated here and passed and adopted. Relying on Order 63, Akbabio urged Indume that a matter that has been stepped down can only be brought back to the floor through a substantive motion. After the Senate President's ruling, Senator Indume insisted that he be given an opportunity to present his motion as issues therein are personal to him as a representative of his people. When you say you have submitted the report and you ambush people to submit the report only when those are interested are not there. He asked me to sign on to an interim report. I still repeat, I'm not a small boy. You should have given me the report. I have not seen the report. This is a privilege of mine. What are you talking about? I have not seen the report. And the report was so called said at the end, at the tail end of our tenor. And what you are saying was an anomaly. But you see, on this issue today, the Senate President has already ruled on it. And when the matter is stepped down, it does not mean it cannot resurface. So I want to, re I want to refer you to Order 63. The civil colleague, please read Order 63. The President of the Senate in the Senate and the, and the Chairman in any committee shall be responsible for the observance of the rules of order in the Senate and the committee respectively. And the addition upon any point of order shall not be open to appeal and shall not be reviewed by the Senate except upon a substantive motion after notice. If, since I've ruled on it, if you want to re repeal, you must come with a substantive motion. This issue is rested. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.